I'm still getting used to it. This dude gave me some syrup the other day. I was like, hey, my family makes maple syrup. Here you go. That's what happens up here in Canada. I was like, oh, okay. Canadians don't do this, but I wanted to try it on camera. Oh. Mm. Wow. I really should have saved that for something. That was, that was great. This was the most Canadian intro I could possibly, possibly do. Welcome to reacting to your Edgar Wright Challenge videos. Woo! Bam! Guys, for today's tutorial, gagawa tayo ng hologram gamit ang Premiere Pro. Ito yung parang mga ginagamit sa movies like Iron Man, Star Trek, Avengers, yung parang ganito. As you can see, pero guys, huwag oh. masabang mag-expect na pang Hollywood itong gagawin natin. Siyempre yung kaya nilang natin. Maraming ways para gawin to. I'll try my best to make it more easier for you na maintindihan and matutunan siya. And then, looking forward na magamit ito sa mga vlogs nyo, sa travels, tutorials like cooking, and so on and so forth. If meron pa kayong ibang way to make it more easier or may mas easiest way pa kayo na alam kung paano siya gawin, feel free to comment it down on the comment section below. I'm open naman sa mga suggestions. So let's go now to Premiere Pro and let's see how it's done. Okay guys, the first thing that we're going to do now is we're going to choose a clip and put it on our timeline. So parang mag-acting ka lang na meron kang sinaswipe. Pero originally, wala naman talaga. So wala, acting lang, ganun. Sorry for my acting skills. Next step naman natin guys, kukuha ko ng another clip and ilalagay ko yun sa ibabaw ng aking first clip. Ilalagay ko yung clip na yun exactly dun sa tapat ng daliri ko kung saan nagsaswipe ako from left to right. Tatimingan kasi natin yung movement ng daliri ko from left to right. Ganon din kasi yung gagawin natin dun sa second clip natin. Next thing na gagawin natin guys is we're going to resize yung second clip natin and i-reposition yung ating second clip. I-click nyo yung opacity, then i-click nyo yung blend mode. Use uh, screen and then let's change the opacity to 85%. And then, we're going to reposition our clip dun banda sa daliri ko. Next naman is pupunta tayo sa effects controls and look for the effect called corner pin. Select the corner pin and drag it on our second clip. Ang gagawin natin ngayon guys is i -re resize natin yung photo and then i-flip natin siya pa harap sa akin kasi nakatapat siya, nakaharap siya sa screen so i-flip natin siya pa harap sa daliri ko. Para siyang nagkaroon ngayon ng 3D effect. Once you're done, balik tayo sa FX Controls and type in RGB. And drag natin yun sa ating second clip. What we're going to do here guys is we're going to color the clip. Gagawin natin siyang medyo light bluish na color. Just 
play around with the colors until you get the right color for you. Kung tingin nyo, satisfied na kayo sa ganitong gulay, then it's good. So, after nyo kulayan yung clip, using the RGB, balik tayo sa FX controls, and we're going to find Alpha Glow. I-click nyo lang yun, then i-drag nyo dyan sa second clip. Ang gagawin natin dito guys, is yung edges ng second clip natin, lalagyan natin siya ng glow natin yung mga edges niya. Let's just play with the alpha glow and then kung masatisfy ka na, then that's enough. Yan, kung mapapansin nyo, nagmumukha siyang nag-glow. Ito guys, option nyo na to kung gusto nyong ilagay. Pero for me, it helps siya. So, after natin magamit yung alpha glow, punta ulit tayo sa FX controls and look for wave warp. I-drag nyo lang ulit yun sa second clip natin. Ang gagawin naman ng wave warp guys is para siyang magkakaroon ng mga glitchy effect. Magkakaroon siya ng mga waves mapapansin nyo, nagiging curvy or wavy lines yung edges nya. Under the wave warp, meron siyang nakalagay doon na wave type. Ang pinaka default nya is sine. So, babagoy natin siya. Gagawin natin siyang square. Meron dyan, wave height, wave width, direction. Depende na sa inyo, guys. For me, ako pinag, ano ko lang siya, uh, pinaglaroan ko lang siya. Then, kung saan ko nakita yung, kung saan ako nasatisfy, Doon sa itsura, nag-stop na ako doon. Okay na ako doon. So, ito yung itsura niya, guys. With all the effects na dinagdag natin. Yan yung kalalabasan nung ating hologram. Ngayon naman, guys, ang gagawin natin ngayon is tatimingan natin yung paglabas ng, ng ating hologram depending sa paggalaw ng dalirigo. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to reposition our second clip using the FX controls as I swipe my finger i-reposition -re ulit natin siya and then i-resize -re din natin yung ating second clip as if na parang lumalaba siya dun sa screen natin every time na gagalaw yung daliri ko mag-add tayo ng toggle animation and keyframes and after that ikakat lang natin yung ating second clip kung saan doon na siya mawawala sa screen natin yun, para siyang lumabas ng screen as I swipe my finger quick tip lang guys so Maglalagay ako ng panibagong clip dito sa ibabaw ng aking second clip. Para hindi na kayo mahirapan maglagay ng effects dun sa top ng second clip nyo. Kopyayin nyo lang yung mga effects sa second clip. Press nyo yung control key. Then i-click nyo lahat ng effects na ginamit nyo. Except yung sa motion and opacity. Right click copy, then i-paste nyo lang siya sa next clip nyo. Ang i-adjust nyo na lang is yung motion and opacity. Then the rest, okay na. Fix na yan.
it for today guys. I hope you like this video. Again guys, if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up by hitting like, subscribe to my channel, and notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga future videos ko. That's it for today and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Peace!